Let's get busy, baby. 2018 Donner's Optic Football. Half case break number three. For eBay. There it is on the screen. And here it is in your face. Pick one from each side. Yeah, the, the Bears are up 14-0 right now. It's uh, not looking good right now for the Vikings. But there's a lot of football to be played. So you're saying there's a chance? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Abraham, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. All right. Open this up. Bloop. What up, Salt Hill? I got a, another full case of this stuff in the store over at ripcitycars.com. And I have this little deal where it's a, it's a one box divisional break of optic football, meaning everyone gets a random division and a box of optic, which will cost you $24. And if you do not get a hit, meaning you don't get a numbered card, an autograph, or a downtown, you could win a box of your own. That's a pretty sweet deal. So, for $24, you can get a random division and a box break of Optic Football. And if your division doesn't get a hit, meaning you don't get a number card, an autograph, or a downtown insert, you could win a box to yourself. For $24, that's not a bad deal. We also got the full case break of optic in the store as well. So check that out. Let's close the year with a bang, y'all. New customers save $15 on their first purchase at DripCityCars.com. All you got to do is register for an account. Once you do so, send me an email at RipCityCards at gmail.com. Once I receive your email, and I can confirm that you are a new customer... I'll send you that $15 code, no problem. All right. Let's see what we got here. Wow. Bears makes the extra point. <laughs> anyway, good luck, y'all. Got Josh Rosen Cardinals, 149. Robbie Anderson Jets, 299. Jordan Lasley Ravens, 299. Not a rookie? Yeah. Illusions in for Carson Wentz Eagles. I like Optic this year. Cards feel so nice. Zeke Elliott Cowboys, 299. And even though the downtown inserts aren't case hits anymore, there's about four or five in them per case. And they're you know they're going for some pretty penny over on eBay if you get the right player. Darren Smythe Dolphins 299. 
Last I heard, the Saquon Barkley uh, downtown inserts were going for like $50, 60 which is not bad. Brandon Graham Eagles insert. We have a Bucks rookie, Sammy D, and Mason Rudolph. Rookies there. Magali. What do we have here? We got Mike Gesicki, Dolphins autograph to 99. There you go. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, he was a bit of a disappointment this year, but huge upside. All we got to do is uh, teach him how to block, and then he'll get more playing time. We got Kurt Bankert, Falcons, 189. What do we have here? Wow! Two autographs in one box? I ain't never seen that before. Grease Fountain, rated rookie auto for the Colts. Very nice. Two autos per in one box? That's, that's a freaking awesome. That probably means that one of these boxes won't have an autograph. Just to even things out. It's one autograph per uh, box on average. And that's how they get away with doing that on average situation. Because we, I had a box not too long ago that didn't have a single optic autograph. And this is from a fresh case. As you guys saw me open. And boom, first box had two autographs in it. J Mess with the with the lovely insight as always. How are you? Vikings worse this year than they were last year. How the hell? Could it be? Could, could it be the quarterback? Oh, Dalvin Cook running that thing, trying to. Uh, that Bears D is no joke. He goes up 10-0 on the Redskins with about half, well, about 30 minutes to go, about 30 seconds to go, I should say. Minnesota can clinch a berth with a win or Eagles loss. So if Minnesota can find a way to win this game, they're in the playoffs. Simple as that. Whereas the Eagles need to win and the Vikings need to lose in order for them to get in. So the Vikings are in control of their own destiny here, so to speak. Number two. Blacko, Ravens, 299. That is Golder Eagles, 299. Doug 
Gary Rams insert. Davenport Saints rookie refractor. Terrell Sox the Ravens. 189. There's a downtown for Tom Brady of the Patriots. Decent. Brown rookie. Where's that auto at? Justin Watson, Buccaneers to 50. Jabril Peppers, Browns to 50. I tried to tell you, Christopher. I'll listen. That's what I was talking about earlier last well, or last week, I should say. You know, who had the better defense, the Bears or the Ravens? And I, you know, slightly give it to the Ravens. You know, if you look at their stats, they're just about the same. But I'll give the I'll give the Ravens defense, you know, the nod over the Bears as far as the best defense in the league. Tony Brown Steelers, one forty nine. Lamar Jackson is nice, Christopher. Don't sleep on him, man. Don't sleep on Lamar Jackson. Jamon Moore, rated rookie for the Packers. And it's the uh, Black Velocity autograph. Very nice. Very nice. Everybody knows I'm high on Lamar Jackson, man. I think, I think that kid is going to be Mike Vick 2.0. Baker Mayfield of the Browns, 249. Alright, we got two boxes down. Well, that's the thing, J Mess. I feel like Lamar is a pocket passer. You know, I don't think he's one of those run-first quarterbacks. I do think he wants to stay in the pocket and be a conventional uh, quarterback. But, you know, if need be, he can get the hell out of there very quickly. Um, so, you know, hopefully he can develop into more of a pure passer. And not be like Mike Vick and rely on his, his athleticism. In the earlier part of his career, you know. He's a young player, JMS. He's a young player. I think the sky is the limit for Lamar. I think when it's all said and done, I think he might be the best quarterback of this year's draft. But that's how highly I think of the guy. Athletically, he's got all the tools. Now he just needs the experience. You know, some coaching. He'll get it. He'll get there. Thank you, Joe. I'm, I'm glad somebody agrees. Yeah, man, he's a very humble kid. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he has the personality that I think is is uh, conducive to achieving greatness. I, you know, everybody knows. I think very highly of Baker Mayfield too. 
Yeah, I think Baker is going to be a stud in the league, too. Dude, don't sleep on Lamar, Christopher. I mean, we, we act like this kid wasn't breaking records at Louisville. You know what I'm saying? Like we like we act like we act like this kid was a a Heisman winner. Like, come on. He's still young, you know. He'll, he'll get it. He'll get it. Well, if it's third and 15, I would go with Baker right now. Right now. But I'm saying when it's all said and done, I think Lamar's going to be the best quarterback from this year's draft. But right now, I'll give it to you. I'll take Baker. Mark Watson Bengals two ninety nine. Emmanuel Sanders Broncos two ninety nine. Listen, Lamar Jackson got a cannon for an arm. The problem with that cannon is that it's not very accurate when it needs to be. That that's all that is. He'll get it, man. Don't sleep on Lamar Jackson. He, the the kids in the playoffs, man. Or about to be. At, didn't they win their division? Watch him make noise in the playoffs, man. Woo! Greg Olson Panthers on 49. That's a team I would. That's another team I wouldn't want to see in the playoffs. Because of that defense and that X factor in Lamar Jackson. Kirk Cousins, 299 Vikings. Christopher Herndon of the Jets that I know. I thought we had downtown. Kurt Warner MVP for the Rams. I wonder what that redemption is. And you have a rookie Patriots. Let's find out. Raven Race, Rookie Cowboys, Eagles, Jason Kelly, Kelsey, Jason Kelly, Kelsey, Eagles insert. Ryan is out of the Patriots, 2 1 8 9. Dan the Man Marino. All right, what's the redemption? It is Denzel Ward. That's a good hit. That kid's stud. Probably the best rookie corner in the NFL. That's a good hit. Nice hit for the Browns. Not a baker, but still pretty sweet. Go Browns. All right, we're halfway there. Oh, wow. That flag was kind of... Uh...
When you try to make a play on the ball, man, I wouldn't call that a foul. But I can see the pass interference. Then you try to make a play on the ball. Like, come on, man. We're trying to get the Vikings in this game here before the half. Thielen would have caught that. That was a good call, but dang it, man. Let him play football. Eagles up 10-0 at the half. Oh, boy. So many packs. Yes, he is Rockstar Johnny Five. Yes, he is. This is box number four. Let's see what we got here. Quentin Nelson, Colts rookie autograph. Uh, not autograph, but it's the 149. Uh, downtown? No. Couch the Eagles insert. Cousins of the Vikings to one forty nine and Rogers Packers one eighty nine. So I was in the Chargers MVP. My boy Lamar. Michael Gallup, Cowboys, Terry Nine. How about them Cowboys in the playoffs? They ain't gonna do nothing, but they're in the playoffs. Or who knows? Who knows? Josh Rosen to 125. He not in the playoffs, that's for sure. For the Chargers out of the AFC, man. Thielen and Kirk Cousins going at it right now. Nick Chubb of the Browns to 189. Nick Kirk Cousins getting the business on the sideline from Adam Thielen. Miles Garrett, Browns to 189. If it's Chargers Ravens, that's gonna be an interesting game. I don't know, man. I, I like, I like the Chargers this year, man. They're scrappy. Look at Kirk Cousins trying to tell Adam Thielen how to run his routes. <laughs> oh, Kirk, 
Gotta love him, man. They, 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 he loves football. My dog's into it. Kirk Cousins has done for 44 yards on 15 attempts. Wow. The AFC top seed still up for grabs. Are you serious? Nobody's secured that top spot in the AFC yet? Box five, we're almost there. The explosive Konkowski Patriots insert. Cannon Balage of the Dolphins, 299. Some barriers of the Patriots to today night. Nice. The downtown insert for the Cardinals, Josh Rosen. To Freeman, Falcons of forty nine. Matt Ryan, Falcons of forty nine. Is Christopher hasn't that been around for like a while? For as long as I've been following football, anyway. Either either an elbow or a knee is considered a. You know, a down. But like, it's, yeah, if it's inbounds, that's a catch. As long as you control the ball, I would consider it a catch. Roy Freeman Broncos, 189. 
Ray Ray McLeod, 99 Bills rookie autograph. What I wish they would bring back, I, I, I think they used to have it in the NFL. Or maybe I'm just making it up. But it used to be like if a receiver was going to catch it in bounds, but the defender pushes him out of bounds, you know, now if a defender does that, it's an incomplete pass because he caught it out of bounds. Before, it, it would used to be like a penalty or something, and they would call it a catch. And I'm probably making that up in my head. I don't know. We got Zeke Elliott of the Cowboys, number nine of ten. You know, I would think it's I would think it's harder. I mean, I don't know, man. To to have a knee or an elbow down, I think it's harder to do that than to get two feet inbounds. Pretty sure you're right there, James. I I would say no. I mean, yeah, sure, you're, you're you're running the risk of injury, but you also want to keep playing at a high rate. I would say maybe sit him down for the fourth quarter. You know, maybe not the whole second half, but you know, sit him at the fourth quarter. That's true, Joe. I think they took away that rule, or maybe they still allow it, how a defensive back, as long as he maintains contact with the receiver throughout his route, it should not be considered like pass interference. Like, I feel like a defender should be allowed to keep at least a hand on the receiver. You know, as long as you do it from the beginning, I think it's fine. I just don't like those pass interference calls where it's like the defender goes up to try to make a play on the ball, and then they call it on the offense. Like, come on! Like, what's the what's the what's the defender supposed to do? You know, he does he did everything he's supposed to do. Turns around, locates the ball, makes a play on the ball. But there's incidental contact, so they're gonna give the, they're gonna give the the benefit of the doubt to the receiver. Like, come on. I don't know, Jamez. I'm not I'm not a big fan of uh, of calling off the hounds. I mean, if if that's how you think about it, bro, then you should never leave the house. If you're if you're so worried about what ifs, then you know you'll never accomplish anything. Oh, what if what if? Oh, like, hey, come on, I mean, let let them play, let them play. I hear you on the injuries and all that, but I don't know, man. Personally, if I was the head coach, I would want my starters out there. You know, I, I don't want to get I don't want to put any bad habits in play especially right before playoffs like I don't know man that's that's just me what up take a leap how are you what's up Mika Merrick Dub over on Breaker well but what the Saints do is their business just my personal opinion, I would not sit my starters. I would have them play. And if you get hurt, you know what? We're playing football at the end of the day. You, you know, injuries happen. It's a part of the game. But if you're going to play football... You know, not to lose, you're going to lose. Nah, I hear you, JMS, but that's what practice is for, man. I don't know. I hear you, but let's agree to disagree. 
Alright, last box mojo here. Let's see what we got. I think we can all agree that we need to see a monster hit here. It's been kind of eh. Kurt Baker Falcons to 50. Todd Gurley Rams insert. Did Brady rest today? I seriously doubt it. Did Belichick sit his starters? Uh, maybe he did, maybe he did, I don't know. Marquise Goodwin of the Niners. I know one thing, the Dolphins suck. Matt Stafford, 299 Lions. Man, I'm glad Coach Rick retired, man. That guy clearly just not what we need. Jake Weineke, Vikings 39. The Rams are going to sit their starter, says take a leap. What would you do, take a leap? Would you sit your starters, take a leap? If it's not going to affect your playoff, like, you know, if you can't go up or down in the playoffs or whatever, would you sit your starters? Just, you know, to not run the risk of injury? Or would you have them play? You would play them in the first half and then sit them in the second half? Marcus Allen, Raiders MVP answer. big fan of sitting my starters I, li I like to go for the jugular all right Josh Rosen to 35 it's a nice card for the Cardinals is it too is it I don't know uh, I haven't seen many Cardinals games but from what I have seen not impressed you Thomas Panthers to 39 I think Sam Darnold's going to be good in this league. And so is Josh Allen, too. I think Baker's going to be a stud. Lamar Jackson, I think, is still going to be the best quarterback out of that draft. I don't know about Rosen, man. I don't know about Rosen. Ooh, could it be? Nice! Two hot boxes! Damn! That was really good. Dude, <coughs> we pulled two boxes with two autographs in it. Wow. Wow. What are the odds of that? All right, well, let's recap this thing. First, let me cough my brains out. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Okay. Let's see what we got. Two downtown inserts. One is Rosen Cardinals. The other, Brady Patriots. We got Zeke Elliott of the Cowboys. Number 9 of 10. That's our lowest number parallel. We got our Denver with the Browns. Denzel Ward. We also got autographs for Rosen Cardinals, 35. Raven McLeod Bills, 99. Another Rosen to 125. Cardinals. J. Moore Packers, 25. Uh, Darius Fountain Colts, 125. Mike Gesicki Dolphins, 99. And my boy, Lamar Jackson, to 99. Now, I just want you to. Realize one thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six box break. We should have we should have only got six autographs. We got eight. Okay? So <coughs> if one of these boxes in the other half of this case break, which would be uh, optic number four, if for whatever reason we're missing an autograph from a box or something like that, like a box doesn't get an autograph. And people are upset. I'm gonna refer to you to the. I'm gonna refer y'all to this video. 
because we got eight autographs out of six boxes here. So if we're missing any autographs in uh, any of the other boxes in the second half of this break, this is why. All right, pretty good first half here. Hopefully we're not missing autographs, and then everything is peachy. But that'll do it for the break. Thank you very much.